Off a day, I'm Claire Smith bringing you your daily renewal. Today I'm here at the American Medical Center in Upper Tumon with Dr. Vince Ekamoto. Thank you, Doctor, for affording us your time and your busy schedule. Sure. And um, so we're here to talk about your personal regimen of, of keeping healthy. Sure. So by the nature of your profession, you're you're exposed to germs, to bacteria, to viruses all day, every day. Yep. So what do you do to well, stay healthy? The biggest thing is when I feel like I'm getting sick and inevitably it happens. Um, I, I try to make sure that I get home earlier and get to rest. I mean, there's always something to do, there's always work to do. And sometimes you have to make choices. Are you going to have to get up earlier in the morning and do the work? And I find that it's a lot better that if I have had a good night's rest, uh, to be able to get thinking clearly is uh, maybe scheduled to get up a little earlier in the morning to get things done. That's the biggest thing. And then drinking lots of fluids, because you know, I notice anyway that at the end of the day, I'll be feeling kind of achy or crampy, and my body's just starting to get dehydrated. And so getting good, clean fluids into uh, my body before I go to bed and then when I wake up in the morning has been very, very helpful. Yeah, because I know that with dehydration, a lot of times people don't even realize that they are dehydrated. And you know, it, dehydration is one part of it, mm -hmm. and it leads to headaches and dizziness right. and cramping. But the other thing is just simply not being able to wash out the waste of the day. You know, if you're drinking coffee or if you're, you're eating foods through the day mm -hmm. and you're not having enough fluids to wash out the waste, you'll feel it when you wake up in the morning. Right. So, speaking of coffee and, and, and taking in fluids, this leads me to diet. Mm -hmm. What role do you feel diet and exercise play in overall health and wellness? Big part of it. I mean, so exercise is, the, I think, the best antidote to chronic stress. You are sweating out lots of that negative energy. Your body's being used in ways that it doesn't normally get, get to be used in, in a busy work day. So scheduling, scheduling exercise and trying to stay on that routine is sometimes the toughest thing to do, but it's, it's very, very important. When that balance is not there, many times things start to fall apart. And it goes with diet as well. So what you eat is very, very important, but when you eat it and, and how you're eating it, if you're eating on the run, if you're, you're eating and, and watching TV or, or, or not really kind of letting that food digest and being with people that, that you love, I think you're missing out on a lot of what's important right. for nutrition. So it's more than just the materials going into your body, but who's preparing it, when is it being prepared, and what are you doing when you're taking right. it in. So that family dinner, turns out to be more than just food, it's, it's real spiritual nutrition too. Awesome! Thank you so much. And thank you. I'll see you next time on your daily renewal.